Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. When I do this out, sucker, I don't understand why more than you don't play our game. I can tell you with my ribbon. Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. How did I get mayonnaise on my pants? I never even eat that stuff. That's A so duel you will have, fellow villain! Tell everyone. So I just found you late. Anyways, I need to play. This guy fell on my head. What's your beware? What are you gonna do? I can't wait to watch the game. Guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown! Get the new kid! Beat him down! young man go change immediately ah oh, come on
Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? I don't feel comfortable talking What about in you. crap are we you wearing? don't have a bar in the door. Hey, just a soda machine. I sometimes feel like it's just not worth it, you know? Word up, Coolio! I'm gonna take a nap with the boiler. You should probably attempt to use your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. I can't you believe anyone you likes condiments. I mean, they're like snot or something. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out? I'm hungry already. How can I be expected to survive on so much food? This school needs more discipline. Why won't we you are alone? so scared. Hi. I have to stay Check focused. this out. You know you look silly. What do you think of this crazy?
can't wait for someone to break a rule. <laughs> You want more? <laughs> what gives you the right to do Watch that to it. me? Stick it in. Sorry about that. Time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. in here oh right class take care to follow my instructions precisely as we will be working with volatile chemicals today fascinating isn't it good job keep paying attention you may have a future ahead of you young man Better be taking notes. I said I'd do it. Yes, Dr. Crabble Snitch, of course, Dr. Crabble. Hey, who's the winner here? Me! I wonder what a stupid what are you? you seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up! Screw you, new kid! This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not slow! <laughs> come here, you little- Yeah, come and get me!
Jimmy Hopkins delivers. What is Lola seeing Johnny that I Later. don't? Gotta help me. Ah! Real tough chick. Hey, say hi to Miss Goody Catch. Let me clean that spot on you. How is anyone gonna love you when I don't love you? Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why don't you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. Keep it up! Good show! Well done! Good one! That's right! Well done! Well done! I can't help but wonder how you do with a more challenging curriculum. What girl love Russell? Russell smash, stupid face! What did I ever do to you? Scar's face! In trouble. I need more growth hormone. I just don't understand. I should give life. lessons! And done. I'm gonna love busting you up! Please, don't be so mean! I carry a D20 on me everywhere Don't stop! This is great! You're a jerk! So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, alright, sure, I'll do it. <sighs> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean... My plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need medication. Swarm! I'm sure he was just kidding when he called me annoying. That's why I'm so bored. I wish something would happen. I want to see your long-range skill. So see if you can get him with your slingshot. You do have some talent. I guess you are good at something. Come on!
tempo 